My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. I think this is one of the nicest little coupes I've had. It is outstanding, the fit and finish on the body and on the interior is incredible. Uh, but we're gonna look it over together and uh, see how it really is. But it's a 32 Ford Coupe, it's a downs body, not chopped, so you can actually fit in it comfortably, full fender, just a nice classic hot rod. Go to volocars.com, that's where you can study the pictures, read the information. You'll find a price tag on every one of our cars, including a monthly finance option as well at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, then click on that bell icon so you're notified when they're posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, I'm really impressed with this. This red paint is slick. It's bright. Um, but underneath the car, it's been driven a few miles, so it's, I mean, it's really nice, but it's not detailed and wiped and polished, but it's all gloss red under there. Uh, it's a new custom frame. It's all boxed. has tubular supports in the middle of it. Uh, up front, it's an independent suspension with tubular control arms, coil over adjustable gas shocks, rack and pinion steering. In back, it's a four-link system, tubular bars and uh, uh, coil over adjustable gas shocks. It's got a custom gas tank. It's painted gloss red. Uh, Flowmaster dual exhaust. The car sounds sweet. You'll hear it towards the end of this video. Um, disc brakes in front, drum in back, has an e-brake assembly is all hooked up. You look up at the motor, it's nice and clean, has a high torque starter. Uh, it's a 700 R4 overdrive transmission, so it's a great cruiser. Custom drive shaft, uh, Ford rear end, it has external battery terminals hidden under the car because the battery's in the trunk. It's power, so if you can't get to it, you do have uh, some jumper leads underneath. And there's also a disconnect switch, and you can take the switch with you if you wanted to disable the car. It's got a great stance. Uh, there's a power brake booster under the car for the, for the brakes. Um, so yeah, underneath the car is built really well. Let's look at the body. I mean, I've walked around it and it looks like it was painted last night. It is slick and this is a high quality downs body. It is straight. I've seen these fiberglass cars where they're ripply and don't fit right, but this roof is straight. This whole cowl, the metal hood, all of this is slick. 32 grill shell, the fenders, are mint, I mean straight. This is like high-end type stuff. This is really, really nice. The body is pristine. Look at the gaps, look at the door gaps. Look how nice that is for a fiberglass hot rod. That is great. <clears throat> there are suicide doors. We'll open them in a minute. The, yeah, the body is outstanding. It's got a power antenna that will go down and it'll be flush. It has a power lift trunk. It's got a third brake light flush mounted, LED lights here. But anyway, back to the body. I'm tempted to use the word perfect, but I won't. But I'm not seeing anything to complain about on the body. It is really impressive. The gaps, the fit and finish is amazing. Now it's torch red, that's a bright GM red, and it is polished slick. I mean, it is a slick, slick paint. I'm not finding any flaws. I'm, I'll come back to the, yeah, there is a little nick right there. But I mean, this, this is a really, really sharp paint job. Uh, hand pinstripe, very neatly done. Uh, so you got nice chrome headlights with the spreader bar and the V8 emblem and braided stainless uh, wires. You have full bumpers. These are like the originals, chrome bumper brackets. Turn signals neatly kind of tucked under the fender. It's got chrome latches on the hood, so the hood opens easily. You don't have to get inside and mess around with that lever system. It's got nice mirrors firmly attached. Uh, all new glass, side and back windows are tinted. Looks like the front window's tinted. 
Uh, it had a safety inspection just in 2022, National Street Ride Association. He must have been at a show. Uh, he is a member here, member number 472 of the Minnesota Street Rod Association. The original style running boards, just so you can stand on them, instead of being red and painted and they get scratched up. So it's got the black running boards. Beautiful torque thrust wheels, uh, much fatter tires and back. They're BF Goodrich. I uh, look like they're 15 inch, gives it that nice stance. Yeah, all chrome bumpers and brackets and spreader. Nice billet license plate bracket. You fill the gas right here. Again, these are LED. What a slick car. I really like this. This is one of the best we've had. So let's open it up, see how nice it is inside. Okay, we have a key fob that works. Power trunk opener. You're going to notice it's all blue interior. The guy said he didn't want black. He wants something to stand out. It's really sharp looking. Uh, the interior is as tidy as the exterior. Definitely professionally done. But look how it's all boxed and they gave it some detail. It's all lined up. Nothing's loose. So many times you see the corners are falling down. Beautiful carpet. You got the CD changer. Looks like this opens up. There's your battery. There's a little room for some extra stuff. But uh, very, very nicely done inside the car, too. You got a billet handle under the trunk lids upholstered. <clears throat> I gotta figure out which button is which. No, I just opened my door. There's your door. Also has power windows, all from the remote I'm doing this. So these are suicide doors. They open backwards. Uh, the dash is painted as slick as the car. Nice billet bezel here with a matched set of white face gauges, all nice and clean. The AC vents are clean. It has this lower panel here with the vintage air controls, your ignition. So over here, got some LED lights for the turn signals, uh, kick panel speakers, beautiful carpet matches the trunk. Yeah, it says interior design by street seats, billet pedals, polished tilt column, with a really nice uh, billet steering wheel, same exact blue on the uh, steering wheel. This is super soft. This is like airline upholstery. It's actually better than leather. It's uh, softer than leather. It's kind of rubbery, more durable. It's a T-C, T-E-A. They make these hot rod seats. Uh, and the whole inside of the cab is upholstered, same soft material. And I'm impressed with the detail, like the window frames, the welting around the door opening. It's all tight, all really nice shape. Has a low car floor shifter, has a chrome e-brake on the floor. Uh, a lot of your controls are hidden up under the dash. So nice, clean look. Oh, overhead console. You got the power window switches, a modern stereo, interior light. Got a nice mirror. So the inside's just as nice as the outside. So that motor, that's a ZZ4 GM crate motor. It's not a rebuilt motor. It's a GM crate motor, which is about as reliable as you can get. Uh, it's a 350, putting out, I think, 355 horsepower. GM aluminum heads, aluminum intake, Weber carburetor, HEI ignition, uh, chrome alternator, modern power steering. It's got headers. Bigger radiator with the electric fan. Some nice chrome matching breather, valve covers, and plug wire holders. Firewall is smooth, painted red. There's a nice V8 logo on the cap. There's a polished overflow. I see some horns down there. So yeah, air conditioning, high torque starter. Kind of unusual to see power steering in these, usually rack and pinion, but not power.
Okay, so even after looking at the car, I still think this one the best we had. The fit and finish of the body and paint, the interior, the trunk, outstanding. If you're going to go to like a high-end, like World of Wheels event, uh, you can spend the weekend detailing the underneath and maybe even detail the motor compartment a little bit better. But as far as driving to any cruise night or car show, this is going to knock their socks off. It's comfortable too, by the way. I'm six foot. Everything felt right. The pedal position, the steering wheel. Um, this is one of those I could just, I can let it go around five more times and I can keep telling you how great it is. I really uh, am impressed with this one. Amazing fit and finish. Doors shut nice. And I like the full fendered look with the bumpers and the lights and mirrors and tail lights. I, I like that. This is a classic look. Not going to go out of style. Like I said, I'll keep going. Uh, go to volocars.com. That's where you can talk to the salesman. They'll help get this delivered to your door. They'll help you finance it at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe and click on that bell icon. That way you'll be notified when the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.